Welcome to the lab on muscle structure. We're, for this lab, we're going to be using a chicken wing to show you how the muscles work. Now, a chicken wing is very analogous to your arm, where you've got the upper arm, the lower arm, and your hand. The same three parts, the upper arm, the lower arm, and what would be the hand, are part of the chicken wing. So we can look at all those different muscles as we go through this. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is take the skin off this. So to take the skin, you just start here at the back edge, that would be the side with the joint on it, and cut up the back edge, being very careful not to hurt the muscle as you do this. Now also make sure that you wear your gloves while doing this, because chicken carries a lot of different diseases including botulism. So make sure that when you do this, you do it very carefully. Do not eat or drink during this because you don't want to contaminate anything you're eating or drinking. And dispose of everything properly once you've finished. Now we're just going to strip the skin off here for this. We're going to, after you finish cutting it up, you finish cutting it up the edge, use the scalpel, and very carefully because the scalpel is sharp, peel the skin back, to expose chicken wing skinned, and hopefully you got it skinned with no injuries involved in that, but you can see the actual muscles there that are underneath the skin, because the muscles are kind of hidden when you look in the skin, but once you remove that skin, you can see the actual muscles. You can see he's got your biceps, look at those guns, ooh, ah, ooh. And triceps down here. These are analogous to our biceps and triceps. And if you see, watch, if you pull on the bicep, it flexes. So the bicep there is a flexor, watch, pull, it comes in, so that is a flexor. The extensor here, once it's already in, you pull on that extensor and oops, it goes out. So you pull on it, it goes out, just like that. So that is an extensor, it extend, that one extends, this one flexes. So there is your muscle pair. So there's your muscle pair that make these work. You can see them right in here and around the bone. You can see the bone down there. The origin is up here on the shoulder. The insertion is down here at the edge, and it makes the whole thing move in. The same thing happens with the muscles here in the middle part of the wing, that if you work the end, you can see it extends and it contracts. It extends and it contracts, depending on which muscle you pull. So play around with the muscles, see how they work. You can cut it down a little further if you want to really look into it, but remember, once you cut through a muscle, the whole thing's not going to work anymore. But you can see the tendons, 
where the tendons attach in. They're the kind of little waxy looking things where the muscle attaches to the bone with the tendons. It's right there. And you can see the actual bones. So, so take a look at the muscles, see how the muscles work, play with this one for a while, but remember, this is not going to be eaten afterwards. You can't fry this up afterwards and eat it. This one's got to be trash. But you're welcome to do whatever you want to with the rest of the package. So take it, um, play with this, have fun with it, do your discussion then. Remember when you're doing the discussion that you not only have to post your results and answer the question, but you also have to respond to other people's posts too. Because if you just post your results, you will only get partial credit. You will not get full credit without responding to other people's posts. And I do not want to see a, yeah, I agree, as a post. If you agree, tell me why you agree. That will get you points. Just, yeah, I agree, not so much. So, put this together, make your drawing of the muscles, post the discussion, that will get your points for the lab, and it will just, it's an easy 20 points for this lab if you do it. So, hopefully everybody's going to get this done. Hopefully this helps you. If you have problems skinning the leg, there's a really good diagram of how to do it that is in your lesson. So in your lesson it shows a step-by-step -step process of how to do it. It's a little too long for me to go through here in this. That's why I didn't include it all. But make sure you get that done and get your post. We'll see you next lab, guys. Everybody have fun. Bye.